First of all, you got to the semi-finals of the World Cup. It was a thrilling ride. What, what is the next step uh, for you and these players? Um, well, it's about developing as a team. Um, back to improvement. You know, over the summer you're looking for results. Now it's about uh, improving as a team, um, developing the way we play. Uh, improving the tactical detail of how we play and um, testing ourselves over the next few months in particular against some really top teams. Nine of the players who started against Croatia uh, are in this squad. Uh, are you tempted to start most of them tomorrow night against Spain just to let them sort of experience the occasion and lap up the appreciation from the 90,000 fans who are going to be inside Wembley Stadium? No. Um, I think um, we 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 want to. Uh, of course, the, the basis of the team will be the team, because um, you know we we had good performances and we're, we're looking to continue that. Um, and the summer was brilliant, and it's great that um, we've got a, a full house, um, and it's great that everybody will feel the appreciation and that we can step out in front of our fans again. Um, but for us now, the summer is finished and um, it's about the next step and the next challenges and uh, sport doesn't stand still for anybody you know you've got to you've got to move forward you've got to continually evolve um, increase that competition and um, I, th I know the players are of the same mentality they're all of an age where what what's next is is the most important thing Harry will be getting his uh, golden boot award uh, tomorrow night do you think he's arguably the best striker in the world at the moment yeah, I think that um, if I looked at other international managers, they would they would uh, love to be in the position I am I'm in to be able to pick him, you know. And I've sat with a few matches over the years and uh, over the last couple of years, and they've told me exactly that. So um, the great thing is, again, Harry is 24, so um, to have reached the level he has already, um, and with time on his side, is is really exciting. Harry, you'll be getting the award tomorrow night. You scored more goals than Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo in the World Cup. Wherever we went in Russia, all the supporters from all around the world, you were the England player they wanted to see play. Do you feel like you're playing at the level of players like Messi and Ronaldo now? Uh, I think it's, it's hard to compare myself with them two. I've said before, them two. I've set a standard of, of football over the last 10 or so years that has been unbelievable. And players like myself and other younger players coming through, they're, they're the heights we, we all want to reach. So uh, to, do, to do that in a World Cup and uh, to finish top goal scorer was, was something I, I was extremely proud of. But um, no, I don't think I can be up there with, with them two yet. But that's, that's my aim. My aim is to improve. Um, and yeah, like I say, the summer was great, but now it's, it's on to, to more things and, and can I do even better? Every time you play, your performances are under so much scrutiny. Personally, what kind of form do you think you were in at the World Cup and now? Were you playing at your best? Do you feel fully fit now? Yeah, I feel, I feel fully fit. I think um, I could have done better at the World Cup, if I'm totally honest. I think. Yeah, it was great and I scored some good goals, some important goals, but uh, there was stuff I could have done better as well. There was, um, yeah, certain finishes I could have done better with certain movements, um, but that's all part of the learning curve. So I remember coming back and talking to people about it, to, to win a, a golden boot in the World Cup and feel like you could have done better. It's an exciting thing. It means that, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of improvement there and I'm at a high level already. So. Um, yeah, I feel fully fit. We've we've come back, uh, started the season well from a from a club point of view. So uh, hopefully, I can take that into to the games here. Gareth, uh, Spain tomorrow night. Obviously, they've got a uh, new manager. Quite a few players have retired. What kind of challenge are you expecting tomorrow night from them? Very tough. Um, we know the quality of uh, the players, the depth of uh, quality that they have, um, and. With the disappointment for them over the last couple of tournaments and uh, the retirements of some uh, you know, legends of the game, really, um, there'll be a hunger about the team, I'm sure. You know, the manager will want to start to implement his, his own ideas. Um, the basis of, 
of how they play, I'm sure, will be similar. But there will be definitely be differences that Luis Enrique will want to impose and slight changes to the style. I'm sure that will take some time. Um, but they have some wonderful footballers, and uh, it's a it's a really good test for us. We're looking forward to it. We were talking to Martin Glenn last month, and he said that you were the ideal England manager. And he said that uh, as soon as you came back from your summer holidays, he wanted to start talks with you about a new contract. Have you had a chance to hold any talks about a new deal yet? No, not really. Um, uh, it's nice that uh, um, he wants me to stay. Um, but um, uh, I think we've just, uh, the turnaround from the summer has been so quick, you know, got a couple of weeks break, but we were straight into planning for, for these matches. And um, yeah, the, the calendar is relentless. So um, uh, focus is on, on improving the team and um, making sure that our preparation for this camp was right because they're two really important games for us and two very difficult games. Would you like a new contract? I think your present deal runs out in 2020. Well, there's a lot for everybody to think about um, in terms of that. For, you know, from my point of view, um, I love the job and um, you know the group of players and the group of staff uh, uh, have been fantastic to work with, and, and we have some exciting young players coming through as well. Um, but um, but my focus is on now and uh, and the game tomorrow. And tomorrow night, Wembley obviously is going to be sold out. Ninety thousand people there. Mm -hmm. That shows how much interest and passion there is for international football. How important do you think it is that the FA owns the, the national stadium? Uh, well, first and foremost, it's brilliant that um, there is this excitement about international football again, because one of our ambitions over the last year or so has been that connection back with the supporters and the impact that the summer had um, for the way that England were viewed as a team was, was really um, pleasing because it's a much better environment for the players to go in and play if, if they feel that warmth and they feel that goodwill. We were a year ago where we were paper aeroplanes landing on the pitch when we qualified and we were all thinking, what, what, are, we, you know, what are we doing here? So, um, you know, that's great credit to this group of players and what they've done. Um, in terms of the National Stadium, um, we didn't own it when I first played. Um, so um, three things important really, is it the right deal? Uh, are they the right covenants? And what are we doing with the money if, if we get it? Um, but um, I think whether you own property or not is, um, is secondary. The history of the stadium is, is always there. A little bit different because it's not the old stadium. Um, but um, yeah, that's it's for uh, decision makers to, to come to the, the right conclusions. Harry, what kind of um, welcome home are you expecting tomorrow night? Uh, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Obviously, it's fantastic that the, the stadium's going to be sold out. Um, from our point of view, we just want to put in a, a good performance uh, like we did in, in the summer. So, um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a lot of buzz around the stadium. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot of younger uh, kids maybe there who, who loved every minute of the World Cup as well. So uh, excitement from them. And um, yeah, we can't wait to, to go and play in front of our, our home fans, which is, which is great. So, uh, but yeah, full focus on obviously the game and, and, and Spain itself. So hopefully we can try and get the win. You went out to Russia with little expectation, if we're honest, and probably a bit, a bit less pressure than in the past. Do you think that might have changed a bit now? Yeah, it probably has, and that's a good thing, really. Uh, I think in any tournament, any major tournament, you're going to have to be able to, to handle the pressure. So um, we've come a long way from, from a year ago, but now it's about building on that. And uh, can we do it every every couple of years uh, in, in the big tournaments, the big moments? Like, semi-final was great for us and great for the country, but we want to experience a final and experience lifting one of them trophies. So that's got to be our aim, is to keep improving from now until the Euros. Uh, and yeah, see how far we can go. A couple of the players have said they've watched the game back. Have you been able to watch the Croatia game back in full yet? Yeah, I've watched it. Um, yeah, there was things we'd done well, there was things we didn't do well. And um, yeah, definitely room, room for improvement. Um, we spoke about it a bit since we've been here, about 
what we could have done better. Um, but look, that's football. That's always part of the, the game. It was a it was a 50-50 game, and uh, one or two things went their way on, on the day, and, and they got to the final. So uh, that's how tight football can be. But uh, yeah, looking back from a personal point of view, there's things I could have done better, and from a team, we could have done better as well. And we had England obviously had golden balls in the past. They've got golden boots now. You're going to blind us with some of your footwear tomorrow night. Yeah, Nike have been kind enough to make me a, a pair of golden boots, which I'm going to wear just for tomorrow's game. So, yeah, thanks to them. They're, they're very nice. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'd have to, to score a goal to, to make it worthwhile.